All right, guys, I just finished shadowing at the hospital right now, and it's about 6 p.m. at the ER. And I saw some seizures and some foot ulcers and all of that good ER jazz. I just came back from New Orleans this weekend to celebrate my friend's birthday. So I woke up at 3 p.m. today because I was so tired and we came in at 2 a.m. So I have to go back home and kind of get my life together. I did not go to class today, obviously. So I will just do Monday on Saturday and just start over and go to class on Tuesday and do the pre-reading tonight. Drink lots of coffee, stay up, do all the homework I was supposed to do, make a lot of emails and phone calls, and get to my life back together. Finally uh, back home, Calyx is watching Mona on Netflix. Making soup because I love soup. And I boil it really fast because I'm really hungry and it usually turns out less delicious because of that, but that's okay. Here's my list of to-do things. I'm making food, I have to go grocery shopping, straighten my hair, do pre-reading, edit a new video for y'all, vacuum, which I just did, and every day I have to change this litter box over there. <laughs> okay, it is 1.30 and I finally finished everything on the list except for the pre-reading um, because I tend to do the important things last. I'm gonna take my laptop over there and take it to my bedroom so I can do my pre-reading and hopefully pass out from that. Finished reading the pre-reading, but now it's 7.50 and I have to get to class. Fire drill, last little ready. So guys, I upgraded my parking to zone one. I was zone two before, but I'm zone one now because I am just late. I'm always late for everything. So I paid 150 more dollars to get zone one because zone one parking is on the roof of a garage and like right there is my school. But not only that, the view is amazing. And you know, it's almost fall, so it's cold, it's not even hot. And there's the hospital over there. And there's just the entire city all around. And I just can't get enough. Right now, me and my friend Raji, we're on the video committee, we're editing a video for the school interview day, and uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Currently at Histopath. Yeah, I was like, how am I supposed to do it? So, with the whole class. And look, the cat's scratching right here. Alright guys, so it is 11.30 p.m. We have a quiz, weekly quiz tomorrow over this entire week. And I was in the middle of studying for that when all of a sudden I get a text from the Bay and he's like, I have really bad news. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I already know what happened. Because he's been having a lot of injuries from sports lately and I knew he was playing soccer tonight. And yeah, so he like tore or hurt his ACL and I'm gonna go take care of him right now. So I have to go study basically all night because it is so late and also take care of him. Eden working on research. We got a few things to do and we're keeping Calyx busy by watching cat television. Just doing research when I noticed. This time we're gonna get funky. Eden, what are we working on right now? Research. And what are we doing it for? For anesthesia. <laughs> and where are we going next month? Boston! Woo! Yay! Finally home to Calyx. Friends got him a new toy. Demolished my bowl of cereal. Time for a long nap. Attempting to cut into this mouse and infuse him with catnip. Success! Plus, I usually don't put them through a urine test. So, has anyone ever collected a 24 hour urine? Does anyone know how to collect a 24 hour urine? Yes. Yeah. You have to do it if you don't yeah. exercise. At a steady date right now. <laughs> In the lobby, I took a thing. Jeez. 
No wonder someone's been talking to me. I signed up for a blood test, metabolic panel, lipid profile, all that jazz at 2.30. And I wasn't told that I was supposed to fast for it until this morning when I woke up. So I'm so hungry, I'm so tired, and I'm very cranky. Just went to safe space training where you learn how to communicate with LGBTQ patients and you get a cool sticker that you get to put on your ID, which means you're certified to volunteer at the Pride Clinic. So that is super exciting and they're like rainbows. When I see somebody is I give you the option, hey, do you want to do all these rainbows? Getting um, my blood checked, make sure nothing's wrong with me. I'm very scared of needles. <laughs> this is the fun. The blood. Now we are go I'm going to go home and I have to get ready for this cool event. I am part of a group called the American Medical Women's Association and here are our cool jackets that we got. Got a whole bunch of deans together and now we're gonna have a tea party with the deans and a lot of our female students in our med school. Uh, and it was open to male and females but of course you know, people who have the issues tend to be more proactive about the issues, and so I don't think we have a lot of males. But, so it'll be a lot of females, perhaps a male or two, and a lot of female deans discussing what it's like to be a female physician. And so that should be very interesting, and it's a very big event that we're throwing, and should be very successful, so we shall see. Hi there, so we are at the party now, and I'm going to introduce you to one of the members and one of the people here at the tea party. Hi, I'm Zainab, and I'm in MS1 right now, and I'm at an AMWA event where I'm kind of learning about what other female physicians go through. Awesome! Hi, I'm Dr. Judy Ann Calloway. I'm the Associate Dean for Admissions, and we're here at my home with some faculty members and students, and we're um, we're going to do some speed mentoring tonight. It's awesome. We've got faculty here, going to give little tidbits of advice, but first we're eating and mingling. Woohoo! Lots of food. Headed to my synthesis quiz and getting to enjoy the sky. Going on a little nature walk de-stress from the week. Working on handouts, eating carrots. Felix is enjoying the outside because it's raining right now, as you can hear. I've been eating very horribly lately. A lot of fast food, a lot of chips. I don't usually eat that way, but I have been hanging out with friends more, and I always feel like, you know, when you increase your social life, I just feel like it's really hard to also maintain health. <laughs> so I'm starting with some carrots. Okay, Lex, I thought that if I let him outside, he wouldn't go in the rain, he would just stay by the door, but no, he goes in the rain, in the mud. Look at his little legs, they're drenched. Going to school early today so I can study for this weekly quiz that are now on Fridays, which means that my weekends are completely free, and my mom is visiting today, so this should be a fun day. At the old grind, with my cool view. <laughs> Hospitals over there, school over there. Some early studying. Got to school, it's about 7 a.m. I don't know what's wrong with me right now, but I feel jacked on the sugar. I'm about to take this quiz, so that could be part of it. <laughs> Good news, I passed my quiz. Gooder news, I got a B on the quiz. Sad news, I didn't get an A on the quiz. Sad news, I didn't get a hundred. But hey, whatever. Now my mom is coming home and it's a bright, sunshiny day. Ah, oh, living the life. Hi, mama. Say hi, hi. for the uh, camera. Hi. Going for some light pinks today. All right, guys. Well, I'm officially back home. My mom bought me some cool water bottles. She just came out of the bathroom. Okay, like, so eating. And it's like one o'clock in the morning. I will see you all in the next vlog. Bye, everyone.